Hello dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope that you are all having a very beautiful and a blessed day. Thank you so much for joining me on the channel. If you have been blessed with the opportunity to see this video today, I ask that you subscribe to my channel to join the Happy Christian Family. And also please share with friends and family so that they may also receive the message of the Lord. In today's video is an urgent warning message from one of our dear sister. I'm going to read it the same way it was delivered to us. No part has been taken out and nothing has been added to the story. Please watch this video to the end as I proceed. Hello, my name is Okoro Fever. I'm from Nigeria. I came across this channel not long ago and I became very interested in it because of the dreams I always had and so. I would like to share with you some of the dreams I have received. Here is my first dream which is the blood of Jesus Christ. I had a dream and in this dream we were three girls walking on the road. Suddenly when I looked up, I saw Jesus, the sky could not contain him, he was very big and mighty. I began talking to these two other girls I was walking with to stop making noise and if they are not seeing what I'm seeing on the sky. But the only thing they kept saying is that they were not seeing anything on the sky. So Jesus was telling me that he is going to show me how his blood looks like each time he uses it to wash sins. I kept on looking and waiting for him to show me how his blood looks like each time he uses it to wash our sins. The next thing I started to hear was a very mighty thunder and lightning everywhere. And then when this happened, I saw the blood very dark as if the blood won't turn to black, then I wake up from my sleep. Here is my second dream which is the warning against preaching false doctrines. In this dream, I found myself in a small room self-contained, I saw a table covered with a white cloth with Bible on top of it. I then began to look at the table and then questions began to arise from my head, I was asking myself who is in this room. As I was still asking myself, I then saw a man who was wearing a long white gown coming out from the toilet of that self-contained room. Then he began telling me that he is Jesus. And as he was talking to me, he was walking around the table touching the Bible, lamenting almost about to cry because his eye changed suddenly and became red. He was telling me that all the people who claim to be his servants are not preaching what is in the Bible. He continued to say that these people are preaching what will favor them. He was busy complaining to me about what pastors are doing, and this made me to feel very bad, suddenly I woke up from the dream. And here is the third dream which is about churches in covenant with underwater kingdoms. In this dream, I found myself on a very big and mighty ocean. Suddenly on that ocean, I saw a woman and she was tall and very pretty with a long hair. She was holding my hand, she was telling me that it is time for me to leave their place that I am disturbing them. I was telling her that I don't want to go and I am comfortable where I am. This lady then said no, you must leave this place. As we continued on the way, she was holding a staff in her hand, we crossed almost seven rivers. And in each river we met, she would hit the staff in the middle of the water then the water would then open up. And when that happened, I began to see a church where pastors and members are worshipping God. Then she told me that when I start going to church I should be very careful that all the churches that she is showing me in the river are all coming to them to collect powers. 
But this lady was hiding the names of the churches from me. As we now reached to the last river of the seventh, where afterward she left me, she hit her staff in the water and the water opened up, then I saw another church. This time around this lady told me the name of the church. She then told me very serious about the church that I should never in my life go to that church because that church belongs to them. The name of the church she mentioned was Celestial Church. Then I woke up. So thank you for watching this video to the end. Please help us get this message out to the rest of the world by sharing to all your friends and family members. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so right away so that you can receive other videos on God's word in the days and weeks ahead. I'm grateful to you and may God continue to bless you till our next meeting.